Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In uh, today's uh, lesson, we are going to cover on how to convert decimal fraction to binary number. And uh, before we dive in so much in the whole thing, we need to remember that uh, a decimal number which has a decimal point separating the integral and the fractional part is referred to as a mixed number, as just as we have learned, we have already learned that in mathematics. And uh, in, uh, in the first case, in the integral part, the weightened part, the weightened part increases from the right to the left. Remember, the integral part is the whole number, while uh, in the fractional part, the weight decreases from left to right. Then also, we also need to remember that uh, the integral and the fractional parts of a mixed number are computed separately, especially if you're trying to convert uh, the decimal to a binary. You need to separate the two parts, that is the integral and the fraction. Then after you work on each individually, you combine the answer. And these are the steps that will take place whenever we are trying to convert a decimal fraction to a binary number. Step number one, you need to write down the number. Step two, you multiply the fractional part by two and you write down the product. You continuously multiply the fractional part of uh, the products by two until either zero is obtained or the product obtained becomes equal to the original fraction or it repeats an earlier product. Then another thing, is that uh, you read uh, when it comes down to the answer you need now to read the integer part from up downwards from the most top part going to the bottom part and uh, lastly you write down the answer in base 2 remember we are trying to convert our our number from decimal which is a which has a 10 digits that is from uh, 0 all the way to nine well for the binary we have only two that's why if you look at our case we are dividing the number by two and the number is either zero or one okay let's dive direct to the example that we have so this is my example so we have uh, this one 0 0.485 base 10 so this is our decimal so we need to convert this one into a binary therefore we have these ones remember the rules you need to multiply okay now i have two two tables here to make our work easy okay so as you can see we have this table on this side where we have the steps we you write down the number I'll try to this so you write down the number then you multiply the fraction remember we are only interested with the fractional part which has 485 so we have 0 0.485 so you multiply by you multiply by two and the answer that you get is a 0 0.970 now the answer that you get on the integral part is the one that you write as your binary so as you can see our integral part is zero therefore you write the zero if you look at uh, instruction number three you will need to continuously multiply the fractional part by two until either zero is obtained or the product obtained become equal or the original fraction start to repeat itself. Okay, next we have uh, the 0 0.970, you multiply by, you multiply by two, and uh, this one you will get, uh, you will get uh, 1.940. So you need a calculator Never you're working on this case. Okay, let's move to the next one and try to maximize. Okay, so you, as you can see, the, the integral part is one, therefore you have to write down the, the one. Then get uh, 940, then you multiply, you multiply by two, you get uh, 1.880. So, Pick the integral part which is a uh, one write down the one as your binary so we have a uh, zero zero 
multiplying by 2, which is going to give us a 1.164. And uh, you write down the, the 1. Then next we have 0, 7, 6, 0. Multiplying by 2, which is giving us a 7, 6, which is a 1.520. Then you write down the 1. Then work on the fraction, which is a 5, 5, 2, 0. Multiplying by 2, which is going to give us a For this one, 520 is supposed to be 1.040. So you write down the 1. Then uh, next part, we have uh, pick the fraction again, 0 0.40 multiplying by 2. Remember the rule is always to multiply by 2. This mistake here, we have 0 there. Then uh, multiplying by 2 which is going to give me 0 0.080. Then for this one, it's going to be zero. Then uh, next we have a uh, pick the fractional part, 0 0.080 multiplying by two, which is going to give us 0 0.160. I hope up to that point we had uh, making the follow-up. So you write down the, the zero. Remember, in a case like this one, you will find that uh, it will continue to repeat itself all the way. But uh, as long as you get the first seven uh, decimal plates, that's enough. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have already seven. So as long as you get the seven digits, the rest of the part is, uh, is enough for that. So you can continue up to the end parts. So the final answer, remember, we have said that uh, you read the answer downwards. So we'll have uh, the answer as uh, 0 0.1, sorry, I'm going to start with the 0, 1, how many one do we have? We have five one. Then uh, zero. Then the base two. Remember the base two, of course. That matter. So I hope up to that point we can make on. Uh, we can make a follow up up to that point. So now to convert the decimal place. So the final answer should have uh, two. We have a subscription two, then it's supposed to be this two. So this is the final answer. So this one is a, so this is correct. The working is correct. This is a good, good work. Okay, let's move to the next case. In our next case, we have where we have 16.05. So we have the integral and uh, we have the fractional. So you need to separate the two cases. Okay, let's start with the, the first case. So the first case is 16. So we have the 16, which is the integral. Well, the other part is a 0 0.05, which is the fractional part. Remember the rule? The rule is always to multiply by, by 2. So when you multiply this one by 2, you get um, 0 0.10. So the answer here is zero. Then I get the fraction again, multiplying by two, you get uh, 0 0.2. So again, we will have a zero thing. And remember guys, if you are new on uh, this channel, don't forget to subscribe as you continue to learn. Then uh, the next part, we have uh, 0 0.2 multiplying by Remember, we are multiplying everything by by two, which is giving us a zero point zero point four. 
and uh, this is also zero. Then uh, next part we have a uh, zero point four multiplying by two, which is a uh, zero point eight, which is a uh, zero. Then zero point eight. Multiplying by two, which is giving us a one point six. Then we have the one here. Then zero point six. Okay, which is multiplying by two, two which is equal to which is equal to one point. Two, so we'll have one here. Then we have zero point two multiplying by two, which is a zero point four. So we have the zero here. So as you can see our equation are starting to repeat itself. As you can see, we have uh, this scenario. Easy. Is it this one? So this one is uh, the same as this one, translating that uh, we have reached the end of uh, our fractional part. It has started to repeat itself. Okay, having done that, let's move to this other one. Remember the rule that we had already covered? Or well, now to convert numbers using either we had already covered uh, two cases we had a case whereby we used the place value method and uh, the other one we had the uh, we had the place value and the other one was the uh, decimal division so for the place value this one you work with the place value you think of a number that's supposed to be near near to the given number or equal or slightly less and the number is two based on so we have two minus supposed to give us zero so the given number is 16 16 the normal number is 16 16 divided by 2 you get 8 divided by 2 you get 4 divided by 2 you get 2 divided by 2 you get 1. So if the generated number and the normal base 2 value place value are the same, it's supposed to give you 1. Okay, do you have any value here? No. So for the 4, no. For the 2, no. Therefore the 1, no. So the other numbers are going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. So those are the answers that we are supposed to to give out okay now the final answer will be the final answer will be how many zero do we have we have zero one zero 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 point zero 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 one one base so that is the answer for for 16.05. We have converting the given number from the decimal to binary number. And it is that straight. You don't have to struggle as long as you follow the instruction the way they have, you can get uh, the answer. So definitely it is right. Working is right and the other working is right. So guys, at the end of our this specific uh, lesson, so take your time, go through the example that you have been given by your teacher, practice, and you can make the reference to this particular video as many times as possible to get yourself conversant or not to convert your given number from decimal fraction to binary number. So guys, I still urge you, if you are still new on this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have already subscribed and you have any suggestion, you have any comment regarding the work, you can write it on the comment section. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Uh,